Welcome to this episode of the Maximus Minute. Now today, let's get right down to business. I want to talk to you about something personal. I want to talk to you about something that I struggle with. I want to talk to you something uh, about something that a lot of people struggle with. It's called imposter syndrome. And imposter syndrome is when you don't see yourself as who you really are. It's when you doubt yourself. It's when you're plagued with negative self-talk. It's when you're in a position or a place that you don't think you belong, that you don't think you've earned. And a lot of us struggle with it. Now, the reason I'm making this video, because I want you to know you're not alone. A lot of us struggle with it. I'm a high-level athlete. I struggle with it. People like Mike Tyson, people like Tom Brady, people like LeBron James, people like Michael Jordan, they struggle with this from time to time. Some of the best and most successful CEOs in the world struggle with this from time to time. So if you doubt yourself, if you're plagued with negative self-talk, if you get a promotion that you don't feel you can live up to, if you have a title that you don't feel you live up to, it's completely 100% normal. I want to normalize this. And, and I think hearing it from somebody like me, I think can help. I actually had a phone call with uh, somebody about this, a person that had attended my seminars years ago. And he said that the most impactful thing that happened was when I admitted that I struggled with this stuff because he realized he was normal and he realized it was okay. And he realized it was okay to, to face it head on and deal with it. And it's something he found super inspirational. And, you know, frankly, for me, it was something I said in passing because I try to be super transparent, but out of all the things that he learned, that was the thing that taught him the most. That's what he found the most value. And so I wanted to do a video on this to talk to you about it. Second reason I'm making this video is I want to give you a strategy to deal with imposter syndrome. Um, so a little bit of a background. I fought in the UFC multiple times. I've won in the UFC. I won submission of the night in the UFC. I've won multiple Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Master titles. Uh, I was on the Olympic ladder for wrestling. Uh, I was a really good kickboxer. I was second in the world in IKF kickboxing at one point. Like I've done a lot of stuff. Despite that, I was still plagued with self-doubts. Uh, last weekend was the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championships again. And uh, the day before, uh, the morning of, negative voices started. You don't belong here. You can't win. I was worried about who I was facing, uh, whether or not I had the ability to, to pull through. Uh, I wondered, you know, why, why did I even like spend the time away from my family? Why did I spend the money? Blah, 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 blah. Like, why am I here? And my head was just swirling. And I had to take a step back for a minute and collect myself and calm myself. And one of the things that I do, and this is exactly what I did to deal with imposter syndrome, is uh, before going on the stream, because I know this stuff's gonna happen, right? Like I'm not, I'm not stupid, it's happened my whole career. It's not just gonna all of a sudden magically overnight disappear. It's probably something I'm gonna be plagued with forever. I made a highlight video. And uh, my highlight video is pretty fancy. Like I've got professional footage from the UFC. I've got professional footage from Jiu Jitsu. I've won a bunch of awards and accolades from Men's Health. So like I put together like a fancy little reel. Um, and I set it to a pump up song, uh, like my entrance music, like something that makes me feel good that's paired with success. Uh, my pump up song is Forever by Drake. Um, it's something that I listen to during hard training sessions. It's something that I listen to on the way to the gym. Uh, it's something that pumps me up. It's something that in, it invigorates me. It inspires me. And so that's the song I said it to. Anyway, I made this highlight reel. It wasn't long. It was 60 seconds. And I watched it multiple times before I went to compete. Because it reminds me of who I really am. You see, there's reality and there's perception. Reality. I fought in UFC 58. That's a fact. You can't take that away from me. Reality, I fought an Ultimate Fight Night 5 and won Submission of the Night. You can't take that away from me. I fought in UFC 62. You can't take that away from me. Uh, in 2020, uh, at Brown Belt, I won the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Master title. You can't take that away from me. Men's Health named me one of the 100 fittest people of all time. You can't take that away from me. You see, that's reality. My perception, though, can change on a day-to-day -day basis. Some days I feel worthy. Some days I feel good. Some days I don't, and it's multi, multi, you know, it's, it's multifaceted. Like maybe it's, I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe I just had like a, like a, like a low at work. Maybe I didn't have a training session, but like those things can affect my perception. My highlight reel is based on reality. So what did I do? I watched this video again and again and again and again. 
And what I'm doing is I'm just conveying to myself what the reality is and that I do deserve this and I do deserve to be here. And I am watching my career highlights and it made me feel good. And it, it helped me turn a negative into a positive and go into that tournament feeling good in the right mindset, feeling confident, uh, feeling that you're damn right. I am Bobby Maximus and I can win this. And what I suggest you do, if you struggle with stuff like this, make your own personal highlight reel. There's no reason you can't. Now, maybe you don't have fancy footage from the UFC and that's fine, but you have something. Like if you're a CEO, you've had to have won awards. You have to have nice emails written about you. You must have got compliments. You must have got a raise at some point. You must have had some wins. So what you're going to do, you're going to take either video or you're going to take like screenshot pictures. Just take pictures. If you have a plaque in your house of something you've won, you can snap a picture of it. And then you're going to go into a third-party app. There's a bunch of these at work. I use CapCut personally. Uh, it's, it's a really easy free product. And by the way, they don't pay me. I just, I just use it. I, I don't upgrade to the pro feature. I just use regular CapCut. And I would import all my videos and pictures. And I would trim them and cut them down. And I make this little 60-second highlight reel. And then I import a song from my phone. And I make my highlight reel. And that's something that, that I can watch. And you can do the same. And so if you're a CEO... If you're an office worker, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer and you have a big trial, like let's go with that example. If you're a lawyer and you have a big trial, you could start taking pictures of all your wins. You could even do this in text format. Like for example, if you didn't have a picture, you could be, you know, September 19th, 2019, one big case versus uh, whoever. And you could have these pictures that could flash in order. You pair that to music and then you have your own personal highlight reel. And it may seem like a lot of work, but it's absolutely 100% worth it. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll, I'll close this out by you know telling you a story. Um, I had a world championship fight in 2007 against a guy named Elliot Marshall. He was a much better fighter than me. I was fighting him in his hometown. He had the hometown advantage. Uh, and frankly, I was scared to death. Uh, it was my last real chance to make the UFC. Um, it was a world championship in a thing called you know, Ring of Fire. And I was filled with self-doubt. Like, I don't know if I can really win this thing. And so my sports psychologist, he actually made me a highlight reel. Uh, it's the first time that I, you know, experimented with this stuff. And uh, I watched this thing every day for three months. I went into that fight so confident, feeling so good um, that I won. That I, you know, I had the, one of the best fights of my life. And it's something that's always stuck with me. So it's something you just don't have to watch the day before competition. You can watch this months before. And it really, really helps, uh, especially with positivity, silencing negative voices, with self-imposed limitations, with goal setting. I mean, it's one of the best things you can do. And sure, it takes a little bit of effort, but you want to achieve your goals, right? You want to be great, right? Uh, you don't want to be mid, as the kids say. You don't want to be mediocre. You want to do every single thing you can do to, to, to rise above. And so my advice to you today is, is if you're dealing with imposter syndrome, it's completely normal. Handle it head on. Number two, make yourself a highlight reel. And I promise you to whoever is listening, you've had your highs. You have your own personal highlight reel. Make one, set it to music, and away you go.